I can handle coming across joggers on this track, but it's the uh, local axe murderer that I'm most worried about. Well, I've uh, ventured down to the car wreck where the John Cena Redback Spider was deployed uh, some time ago. Basically, it's a week before Halloween. I haven't done the maths of when I put John Cena down here. And I'm just having a quick look here. It looks uh, the same as when I last left it, remembering that this uh, car wreck was all manipulated by police searching for a dead body some months back. Warning. The warning on this spider video has been removed. I didn't bring any gloves with me, I've just got a stick. I don't want to be lifting up any metal here because if there are any spiders active here, I don't want to really disturb them. I just want to see what web has developed and if we've got egg sacs for the new season because our summer is coming up and what I should find by now is possibly red back egg sacs uh, that are new. Before I venture in, uh, there's the bumper bar there. I can see there is red back web here. Okay, uh, the redback spider isn't going to pounce out at me during the daytime and I can also see what the spiders have been feeding on the uh, critters there in the web How good are your entomology eyes? Uh, can you identify what that is? Uh, whatever it is, it's had a very good night sister by the look of it So my guess is there is a redback spider living in this metalwork here uh, Just by going from the web there. I'd say it's a fairly immature one from the size of the web um, there has been a stack of rain, uh, that's the sort of thing that would hamper these spiders and I mean there had been heaps of rain in the last couple of weeks. I'm just going to come and look at the bottom of the engine there because I can see the egg sacs from last season but I'm looking for new egg sacs. I'm just going to crawl along here, you're going to see red back web flashing in front of you. Um, working my way along here we might see old egg sacs, I'm looking for fresh activity. I think, I think that's a spider skin or something up there. Uh, I think that one there, that bright white thing, is an older egg sac because it's all crumpled up. I'm not seeing any fresh activity, just crawling along a bit further. Again, it still looks pretty clean and there's one more bay to go to and there's a bit of grass in front of it. It looks clean as well. That then, I was just looking through there, there's a stack of red back web uh, traversing this area here. Lots and lots of activity, small web at the bottom, a uh, larger web at the top. I'm going to come along and track along and look in here next. Okay, just tracking along as smooth as I can. Uh, it looks pretty clean. If there's no web, there's sort of no spider. I think the spiders prefer to be a bit lower in this engine. That's egg sacs there. I'll just pause there from basically last season. I already know about them. Just traversing along a bit further. It looks clean as well. And the last one there, I'm not going to see it because that's the bottom of the, um, the whatever arm on the piston. So it's sort of of no surprise. It hasn't changed that much. I can see fresh web. And I can also see fresh web here, if I look at the, well, the transmission area there, and maybe in the sun glinting away there, all through here there is a stack of redback web, and I would say that's from a more mature spider, just from the nature of the web. I'll just slowly track up inside the bell housing there as close as I can, and I was hoping to find some fresh redback spider XX, but it looks pretty clean. I'm always curious about what's going on in the car wreck. I dare say the people who follow my redback spiders are as well. I would say that if I come back here, let's say in December or January, crikeys, that engine's going to be cranking, but it's going to be cranking spiders and not pistons. And I'm just curious, because we've had so much rain, there's a creek down here, and I want to just see how much uh, water has moved through this area, because we, we had some serious rain uh, in the last couple of weeks. When I'm down here, I always look at the track because the track tells you a story of activity on this trail here. That would have been washed clean with the rain that we've had. So in the last week or so, yes, there's been a fair bit of activity here. Sorry. That's all right. Uh, I understand some of the footprints now at least. So there you go. The track is used by people as a bit of a fitness run. I know why, because it's quite steep. It goes down to the bottom of the valley. And the other people or things that are busy here is the ants. Yes, uh, never have a fight with ants because I know they're always going to win. I've just seen an ant nest of, I think, possibly the ants I don't want to play with. Although it might not be too bad. Um, there's the argument that ants know when it's going to rain and they build up these mounds. Well, I can tell you one thing. This mound wasn't here prior to the rain, but it's certainly here after the rain. So I can only assume these ants have been, well, basic, basically clearing out their nest after the rain. I'm not sure whether I'm going to invigorate any of the come. Oh, here they come. Bite, bite, bite. The first inspector's come out and says, what's going on here? If I leave the stick there, maybe we'll see more. It's uh, 
ants are fun to look at until they start biting you. Uh, I've got a lot of respect for these guys and I don't really want to mess with them, hey? Yeah, more and more are coming out. I want my stick back, guys. Sorry for disturbing you. Oh, crikey's here they come. I'm out of here. Yes, that's definitely a signal to move on or I'm going to be bitten. Well, this is the part which I thought would have had more water. Mind you, we're like halfway down the valley, if that makes any sense. Uh, it looks sort of the same. It's when I look at that there, um, to me that looks like it's been chewed out a little bit more because I've walked past this many, many times. The water comes down here. Uh, we'll keep chewing that out. Uh, traverses through here. There's a bit of fresh broken rock there. Uh, yeah. Once again, I can see fresh footprints and all here. And um, the water goes further on down the valley. And it gets quite steep down there. I'm just looking at the water there. You can see the reflection of the trees. Uh, when I was a kid, we used to go down to the local bits of water. And we used to find heaps of tadpoles. That's like the well, things that become frogs. Uh, I haven't seen a tadpole uh, for years and years and years. So what's that telling me about the water in the environment? I was nearly going to come down here when it was raining really heavily, like into the third and fourth day of heavy rain, and we might have seen something quite spectacular here, and maybe a little bit dangerous. Uh, maybe I'll do that one time. And it certainly crossed my mind because I think this area would really be different when it's raining heavy. I can hear those black cockatoos, and I know they're down here. I've seen them down here. There you go, there's a nice little update about a Mrs. John Cena Redback Spider car wreck with the sun flaring and glaring. Uh, it's easier for me to come down here because the days are getting longer. I don't want to explain that in this video. Maybe you can Google it. Why did the days get longer or shorter? Okay, bye.